Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about two disturbances in the Atlantic that could become tropical storms, if not hurricanes, which could be named Laura and Marco. Those are our next two names on our list. We have two disturbances here in the Atlantic highlighted by the National Hurricane Center, but before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. Please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content, hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible as these two systems could definitely and most likely bring impacts to the United States mainland. The disturbance that has a more emitment threat on the United States, and by emitment I mean like it could happen a couple weeks from now, they give it a 20% chance of formation through 48 hours and a 40 through the next 5 days. I expect that chance to rapidly increase over the next couple of days. And the other disturbance highlighted off the coast of Africa has a 0% chance for 48 hours and a 40 for 5 days. And again, I expect this one to rapidly increase as well. Let's get right into the models. This is the CMC model, hour 132 around Saturday, August 22nd. You see that first disturbance is pretty well defined off the coast of Mexico there, uh, near Mexico, Central America. And that other disturbance approaching Puerto Rico and those other islands there. And as we move ahead of time, that disturbance, which could be named Laura or Marco, depending on which one forms first. So I can't exactly call out which one will be named before the other. But this potential Laura or Marco will be affecting the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. According to this model, it will make a direct impact on those areas before moving over Cuba. Meanwhile, the other disturbance has a pressure of 984 millibars and is approaching the Texas-Louisiana coast at a pretty intense strength. Uh, definitely p potential for a hurricane there. Before making landfall off the coast of Texas, according to this model, before that other system rolls around and strengthens again, it, before it weakened, and once it entered the Gulf, it weakened a little bit, but then it re-strengthened right before it makes landfall in Louisiana, and that's as far as this model goes. This is only one possibility that could happen, so do not take this for granted until we get closer. This is the ICON model around that August 22nd, August 23rd time frame. You see that disturbance that's started back in Africa over the same area that the other model showed, so there's some consistency in this between these two models. This one shows it approaching Puerto Rico again. This one shows it a little more north, closer to Cuba, in between Cuba and Mexico there, with that disturbance. Before it strengthens to 982 millibars, and this one doesn't quite make a landfall on the Dominican Republic and passes to the north of it, as this is as far as we can go right now, and this one definitely looks like it could be a Category 1 or higher intensity, this one as well. Right now, my forecast for these systems, I expect both of them to reach hurricane status if they form. If they do not form, that's perfectly fine. But if they do form, I do expect them to reach at least Category 1 intensity. Looking at current sea surface temperatures across the Atlantic, you do see very, very warm sea temperatures of 31 degrees Celsius in the Gulf, which is where both those models I showed had those storms peaking in strength before making landfall, especially in Louisiana with the CMC model. Um, while there are moderately warm conditions, warm to hot conditions around the Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic islands, but my main concern is that if these systems can reach the Gulf, We'll have a bad situation uh, in our hands. That's your trusted weather forecast for upcoming potential Hurricane Marco and Laura. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.